All right, who the hell is Elliot Jacks? Now, some people think I'm being flippant when I use these words, but these are not my words. These are the words of someone named Jerry Harvey. Some of you may be familiar with Jerry's most famous book called The Abilene Paradox. Um, it's a book about group dynamics. Uh, if you've done some research in organizational uh, development, organizational dynamics, you've probably run into this most famous book. But Jerry wrote a second book, and it's in that second book with the title, How Come Every Time I Get Stabbed in the Back, My Fingerprints Are on the Knife. <laughs> Two-thirds of the way through this second book, there's a chapter entitled, And Who the Hell is Elliot Jacks? Because Jerry and Elliot were colleagues at George Washington University. And in fact, when Jerry first heard about Elliot's research, he was so excited that he ran down to the George Washington University Library to check out Elliot's latest book with the scintillating title. I know you're going to want to get this for your personal libraries. It's called A General Theory of Bureaucracy. I can see the excitement in your eyes already. Uh, Jerry pulled the book off the shelf, realized he was only the second person in the world to have ever checked that book out of the George Washington <laughs> University Library. That was back in the days of library cards. In front of you, you, may, you have a more detailed biography of Elliot's life. His academic credentials are at the bottom of that listing. A number of articles that he wrote for trade journals and magazines. He authored 23 books about the research I'm sharing with you today, yet he is probably the least known management scientist on the planet. Well, except for that one article that's in the middle of your list there, it's in bold and red. It's called Death and the What? Midlife Crisis. Has anybody ever heard of the Midlife Crisis? You see, if you've heard of the midlife crisis, you've actually heard of Elliot Jacks because he's the clinical psychologist who coined the phrase and described the psychological phenomenon that happens to both men and women around the age of 50. It has something to do with divorce and motorcycles. If you want to talk more about that, you can just see me at the break. <laughs> if you have interest in reading more uh, in Elliot's writings, there are two books that I would recommend. The first is the central reference book called Requisite Organization. It is not a reading book, it is a reference book. In fact, if you try to read it, uh, it'll be back up on the shelf in about 15 minutes. Yet it's a reference book. If you have a very specific situation that's going on, you can look it up in either the table of contents or the index and get some very specific narrative about what you're going through. If you're looking for a book to read, the one that I would recommend is called The Social Power of the CEO. Uh, it was written in 2002, one year before Elliot's death. Elliot passed away March 8, 2003. Uh, this particular book is available from Amazon.com.